Hello, welcome. Uh, this is a sixth video in the series and this is a video about hydroelectric power plant. So previously I have covered videos about thermal power plant. I have also covered the videos about the different kinds of power plant like it could be based from the conventional sources like it could be from the steam engines or it could be steam based from the coal, diesel, etc. nuclear. So again, uh, hydro power plant is it's a debate to whether it's considered it as a conventional source or a non-conventional but by considering the fuel uh, what you are going to use the water which is going to be available for a long period of time so you can consider it as a conventional source of or a non-conventional source of energy but some people still rate it as or some i've seen some sources which rate it as a non-conventional sources of energy but i re really don't understand uh, why it needs to be a non-conventional while it could be considered as a conventional source of energy like water energy could be available for a period of uh, longer time uh, as compared to coal or uh, diesel or petrol based uh, fuels etc but again considering uh, the power system as i have said previously the hydro power plants are usually located at a larger distance or it is located at a distance which is usually very much far away from the load centers or the places where the electricity will be used the one of the main reasons uh, you can have a thermal power plant very much close to the city or on the outskirts of the city but you'll need a hydro power plant which will be uh, usually located at a larger distance uh, from the cities with one of the main reason is that it is constructed in the path of a river or it is constructed at places where it is very much favorable to construct dams and can it is mostly constructed in path of a river by constructing a larger dam and which is uh, uh, which is the dam is a structure which is constructed across the river to uh, to block the water or to store the water in what is known as a reservoir and the area which surrounds or at the back of the dam is usually known as a catchment area so when there will be rainfall the water from all the catchment area or the area surrounding uh, the dam on the river will flow to the river or the reservoir so the reservoir will be an area which will be huge behind the dam and it will store the water from the catchment area and there is something else known as a spillway so during the rainy season it is possible that the water coming from the catchment areas are and also water coming from the river is very high so more than the capacity in volume if to be specific uh, and the head level that is the height of the water from the ground level to the top of the dam is much more so in such cases it will be necessary to avoid the constructional damage to the dam to divert that water so the there is also something known as spillway which is constructed uh, to divert the water so if you are uh, seeing a simple diagram then it could be a dam which is a structure to store the water or obstruct the flow of water and then there could be reservoir which is uh, the storage of the water which is following the dam and there could be a tube which is usually known as penstock which will be constructed from the dam uh, which will all which will be having an opening which will be having a controlled gate or opening so that the flow of the water can be controlled one of the main reasons to control uh, having a gate is that it will be necessary to stop the flow of the water if whenever you want to st uh, stop the power plant for maintenance work or repair work etc also to control the amount of water that is uh, going in and out of the penstock uh, or in and out of the amount of water which is being fed to the power uh, turbine it is, it is necessary to control the flow of that as per the load requirement so you we have seen the load curve so the load duration during the period of the day will keep on changing so according to the load demand it might be necessary to produce a higher number of kilowatt of electricity or a lower number of kilowatt and that can be controlled by controlling the flow of the water and that is being done done by the gate which is at the power plant or opening of the pen stoke or the at the uh, out inlet of the pen stoke then again the water will be flowing to the turbine and the water which is striking the turbine blade so there could be different kinds of turbine like impulse turbine there could be a re river uh, reaction type turbine so based on the different construction possible the water will be flowing on the blades of the turbine and it will cause the turbine to rotate so this is a hydro turbine uh, unlike the steam turbines 
so in the steam turbine the medium or the fluid will be steam that is the uh, water at a high temperature and pressure uh, in the vapor form so again uh, here the fluid will be water at high pressure and high velocity so the high well the water at high pressure will be converted to water at high velocity using the nozzle which will be used to throw the water to the blades of the turbine and when the water will hit the blades of the turbine in case of an impulse turbine the blades is like this it will hit the blades and it will cause the rotation and in this way the turbine will uh, turbine will rotate and when the turbine will rotate it will rotate the connecting uh, generator or alternator which is a synchronous generator and based on the speed of the turbine it is possible to the speed of the turbine will be always equal to the synchronous speed of the generator so if there is a p number of poles only not considering the pole pair p number of poles suppose if there is a four pole machine then based on what is my synchronous speed i based on my synchronous speed will be determined by my frequency which i want that is a 50 hertz will be the frequency of the power generator so 120 f by p will be always uh, my synchronous speed so based on the speed of the uh, turbine it is possible to design decide the speed of the synchronous speed or based on the synchronous speed which you want you can design the turbine to have a specific speed so again the electricity generated will be stepped up it will be transferred using uh, to the using the transmission line there will be substations and the full transmission network will be there and finally it will be available at the load center so this was one of the simple construction of a turbine or a, or a uh, hydro power plant at a simple way and again you see one more diagram uh, there will be the reservoir in this case there's a dam and then there is a pressure tunnel or the or the pen stove and there's a gate which you can see in this diagram which is a controlling the flow of the water at the inlet of the pen stoke and this will also be as i said will control as per the requirement of load then there's an inlet wall which will again control the amount of water which needs to be fed to the turbine and or to stop the supply of the water to the turbine and finally there's a draft tube which will be used to increase the pressure at as it uh, water will be leaving the turbine blades what will be seen is that in case of an impulse turbine uh, the water is directly hitting the turbine blades so the nozzle is designed such that the pressure and the in the water is converted to or the potential energy or the and the water at the pressure is converted to kinetic energy so whenever the water will hit the turbine blades and it will be leaving the pressure which was there in the uh, pen stoke and the flow of the water was converted to kinetic energy so the water which is leaving the turbine blades are usually at low pressure and to move that water out into the spillway the spillway is the outlet at the lower side of the reservoir which is the outflow of the water to the river back or, or to a canal etc which is possible in the design or the construction of the of the power plant or the hydro power plant so again the draft tube is designed such that it will provide a shape in such a way that the automatic exhaust of the water or the automatic exit of, exit of the water at the low pressure is possible. So again there is a turbine and the connected generator etc. And there is a surge tank which you can see the surge tank will be a small tank which will be in the path of the pen stoke and it will be uh, like a, it will act like a small reservoir which will always store some amount of water in excess to uh, what is uh, flowing through the pen stock so one of the reason is that as you are as the load will increase and decrease it will be necessary to close the gate of the turbine or to open the gate of the turbines or open the gate of the pen stock gate at the entry of the pen stock in such a way as to regulate the flow of the water so when this will happen uh, what will happen is that uh, the water it is possible that there will be some vacuum created in the pen stock so there will be the water heating and going back if there is vacuum against each other so the water will be coming it will be colliding or there could be a free space form so such 
such will cause contraction etc so in such cases there could be damage uh, to the construction of pen stock so to avoid such cases there's a search tank so there will be always some extra water which will be available so that the pressure which is changing can be regulated and the damage to the pen stock can be avoided so that was uh, just a basic uh, diagram of the hydropower plant so, so coming into more detail as you can see there would be the powerhouse this would be housing the turbines the generators the governors transformers there would be circuit breaker etc again uh, the type of hydro plant which you want will depend on the quantity of the water available and the availability of head of water so again it is possible that if you are having a large uh, to large mountains and if you are constructing a dam the dam could be constructed at to a greater height but in areas where such kind of uh, geography is not available the catchment area is large you, you are constructing dams with smaller head but the reservoir capacity could be large again based on the head the amount of power which can be generated will be different and also the type of the turbine which you will select whether it's an impulse whether it's a reaction will depend on the head of the water and the construction of the dam which is available so we will see the different kinds of hydro turbines in the next lecture and in that I will explain about the different kinds of heads possible for the water or different le level of the water of the dam and based on that how you can select the different turbines. And the turbines again can be classified as the tangential flow, the radial flow, axial mixed flow etc. So that I will cover in detail in the next chapter. Again there is a coupling turbine which is the axial flow turbine, there is a Francis turbine which is a radial flow and there is a Pelton wheel which is a tangential flow. Again these can be classified as the impulse and the reaction. So I am not going into detail coming to the different stages of the power plant as i said there would be water in the reservoir then the water will fall on the blade and then there will be shock rotation then there will be electric power generation and then there will be flow back using the draft tube and the spillway and finally the dams could be constructed like it could be a storage dam it could be a rock fill dam usually storage dams are used for power generation and again there is a reservoir the catchment area the control gates the pen stoke which will use to carry the water and then there's a water turbine which will be converting the hydraulic energy to mechanical energy conversion so the turbine will be the water which is stored is in the potential energy form when it is in the dam and while it is flowing through the tube it gets converted from potential energy to the kinetic energy and the amount of potential energy which is available will depend on the height of the dam and the Potential energy here is a hydraulic energy. It will be converted to the mechanical energy on the shaft or on the turbine blades. And finally, you will have the generator. So the generator uh, will be converting the mechanical energy to the electrical energy. And then there will be the transformer, which will be used to step up the voltage. And finally, the tail rays are will be the place from where the water will flow out. So you also discuss the search tank and it's also possible to have a power plant uh, with only one generator. So generator could be having a capacity of 400 uh, megawatt, it could be having a capacity of uh, some kilowatt etc. So usually the generations happens in the megawatt range. So it could be possible to have a dam, it could be possible to have multiple pen stocks uh, coming from the dam each of which is connected to a generator uh, from different uh, turbines of course so that those are the different kinds of arrangements possible so this was the next lecture there is a sixth lecture in the series and this was about the hydro power plant so we discussed about the construction operation of the hydro power plant we also discussed about the different parts of the hydro power plant again this is a series of lecture uh, in the series about learning about power plant engineering, uh, power system engineering. So the full uh, playlist of the different videos you can find in the uh, description. Also you can find the playlist of, of the videos uh, related to what you are uh, learning, uh, related uh, videos uh, to the power plant engineering and the electrical engineering in the description. Also if you like this video please do subscribe and this videos are made more of 
as uh, overview to understand the topics also the references are given at not the references but the suggested books for reading are given at the end and you could be reading them for your exam preparation etc but these videos are basically for a quick overview if you like these videos uh, please do subscribe also do like comment and also do comment some of the suggested videos or some of the suggested topics for video making uh, if there are any